hi so i'm going to show you guys how to dread short or medium length hair using the twist and rip method and i have one dread at the moment i've had it for i've had this dread for three weeks and when i had long hair i had four or five dreads but once I cut it, I cut my dreads too, but I'm trying to dread my hair again. So, I know the spot I'm going to do it. It's right here. Uh, I don't really brush my hair often, so my hair is very knotted, but that's okay. And um, I only wash my hair like once a week, and that's actually like perfect for, like if you uh, want a really easy time making your dreadlocks I suggest not washing your hair for a couple of days it it will just make your life a lot easier because they won't fall out and you'll because once your dreadlocks fall out you'll just end up having to do them over again Um, I like to do it pretty thick because with my, I have pretty silky hair and because my hair is so silky, it ends up, um, it ends up, uh, the hairs like break up once I, the first few weeks. So it ends up being pretty thin anyways, so I like to make them really thick. And my hair is pretty greasy because I haven't washed my hair in like four or five days. So, okay. So, I'm going to brush my hair out. And I just tried to film a dread video, but I didn't like how it turned out, so I just took the dread out because there was too many little loops at the top. And you're going to get loops anyways when your hair dreads, but they, they were just so many and they just really bothered me, so I knew it wouldn't have been like pretty in the end product. So, so I'm going to take my two pieces of hair. And then I'm just going to take one piece and then go like that. And I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I, and then, I don't want to like, you don't want to like twist it or like twist the hair like this because it, it will just like end up having a twisty look. So it kind of takes a second just start and you don't want to split it evenly in the middle every time uh, I'm trying to be careful to like not get little baby hair stuck in it and I've noticed bigger it is harder it is to start it and get it that right look And I just do it super, super tight. And if you have longer hair, this will work too, of course. It just, it will take a lot longer. Once, when your hair's, like, when you do really thin pieces, the hair usually likes to uh, like connect to each other better, but when you have big th pieces like this, it's really hard to get started. I'm just going to take a comb and kind of like back comb it a little bit right here at the roots to help some extra grabbage. And root, like, dreadlocks they usually end 
up um, loosening a little bit. Anyway, they dreadlocks they loosen, but then they tighten back up. So these will end up loosening um, in a few weeks, and then in a few months they'll end up uh, tightening back up. But for now, that's why I'm making it so tight right here because uh, it's going to loosen anyways, and I don't want it to be so loose that it breaks apart because we don't want it to fall out like when we're in the shower or something. See, like that. This is not the best piece of hair, honestly, because I, I have so many layers of hair so I have like these little baby hairs right here and and when it gets super thin at the bottom it also gets hard to and then it's starting to look very twisty so I like to just go like that and then kind of palm roll it you always want to palm roll your dreads. You have to give them a lot of attention um, when they're babies. And then, it's very uh, thick right here and normal right here and then like thin right here and that's totally normal when you first... I think that's normal with even like really mature dreads. And this is very very thick dread but like I said it the hair it will end up loosening up and um, hair will kind of disconnect from itself and like you will lose a little bit of hair like your hair will fall out a little bit because you're because it's like in a knot but it will also like separate like little strands like pieces like this are probably going to end up separating and such after the first month or so so that's why I like to make them super thick and then I just palm roll it and use my fingers to kind of smooth it down um it depends what spots you do it at but like this spot because I did it so tight so the root it kind of pops out a little bit but I don't mind it much because it's right in front of all my hair anyways and um I usually put my hair up most of the time and I, I personally love putting up my hair once I have a dread that just start out, is starting out because I'm less likely to try to like untangle it with my fingers like unconsciously and um, but yeah that one will probably end up looking like this one in a few weeks. See it's very thin. Uh, it was very thick when I first did it, but like I said, they just, dreadlocks kind of just do their own thing, and um, they, and if it's not meant to be a dreadlock, it will untangle itself, and, and it will just, like, say bye, <laughs> but yeah, it might take a few tries to get, because it took me a while with my short hair, but you just gotta keep doing it, okay? Bye.